Hello friends, welcome back to my video series on analysis of determinate structures. Now we are in a process of finding deflection in case of flexural members that is beams using energy methods that too using virtual work principle. So we will see this numerical example. We have to determine the slope and displacement at point B. EI is constant for this beam. We have to use virtual work method. So the beam is a cantilever beam where one end of the beam is fixed and the other end of the beam is free. So we have two loads here, one a uh, uniformly distributed load of 300 kil Newton meter and a point load of 400 Newtons. Now first step is I have to remove the real loads and uh, since uh, we need to find, uh, we will first find displacement at point B. So I will apply a 1 kN of downward load at point B by removing the real loads of 400 newtons and 300 newton meter so let me just draw that here okay i have drawn that beam with uh, one kilonewton of point load at b the span of the beam is three meters now i have removed this udl and point load but i have applied only the dummy or the virtual load of one kilonewton at point b now what i will do i will take a section somewhere here and assuming that point B as the origin and this section is at a distance x from point B. So in that case uh, I need to find what is the virtual moment so let me call that as delta M so I can easily say that delta M is equal to 1 that is this 1 kilonewtons times x but since that one kilonewton is actually causing a hogging bending moment, so it should be minus. So I can rewrite this as delta m is equal to minus x. Now similarly, uh, I will try to find what is the real moment due to the real loads of 300 newton meter and 400 newtons. So similarly, once again, I will take point B as the origin, and I will take a section which is at a distance of x from point B will have a moment here I will call that as M so I can write M as so this 400 Newton at this section will once again cause a Hawking bending moment so it is f minus 400 times x and this UDL this much of UDL that is from here up to here will also cause a uh, hogging bending moment so it is minus so the udl is 300 times x times x by 2 so i can just rewrite this as minus 400 times x i'll take a bracket here plus so 300 divided by 2 is 150 plus 150 x square so this is the m value that is the real moment so i know the equation to find uh, equation of virtual work principle so let me just write that okay so this is the equation for the virtual work so this delta f so this one is actually one newtons sorry i think here i have written kilonewtons yeah this is wrong this is not actually kilonewtons this is actually one newtons so this is in newtons so I can rewrite this as one newton is equal to sorry one newtons times delta f at b is equal to so the limits are from 0 to 3 meters so delta m is actually minus x times minus of 400 x plus 150 square times dx so here you can see this is actually delta m that is the virtual moment and this is the real moment so this minus sign minus sign goes and when you integrate that everything you will get the final answer as 
so you will get final deflection at B as plus 6637.5 Newton meter cube divided by EI. So since you are getting positive sign it means that the deflection is downwards. So once you substitute the values of E and I, you will exactly get what will be the deflection at point B. Now this is the first part of the problem where we were required to find the deflection at point B. Next part will find the slope at point B. Now what I will do, I will take the same beam but without the external loads. Instead of applying a concentrated load of 1, kilo, 1 Newton at point B, I will apply a moment at point B of 1 Newton meter. So just let me just draw that beam. Okay, I have drawn that beam, but instead of uh, 1 Newton of concentrated load, I have applied 1 Newton meter of moment, uh, virtual moment at point B because we are supposed to find the slope at point B, but without the external loads. Now the same procedure, I will take a section somewhere here, which is at a distance of X from point B and it will have a moment. So let me call that as delta M and that delta m is actually equal to this moment is actually causing so it is actually causing a sagging bending moment so i should be plus one that's it plus one so this is the virtual moment and the real moment is same which we have already calculated that is uh, here it is minus of 400 x plus 150 x square so i will just write the equation for virtual principle to find the slope Okay, this is the equation to find the virtual, uh, uh, to find the slope. So this is actually one Newton meter of virtual moment times theta b is equal to zero to three. Delta m will be actually one times minus of four hundred x plus 150x square times dx. So once you solve this, you will get the slope as, you will get it as minus 3150 Newton meter square divided by EI. So once you substitute the values of E and I, you will get the final answer. So the minus sign indicates that you had actually applied the virtual moment in the anti-clockwise direction so, but you are getting negative sign. It means that the slope is not in an anti-clockwise direction but it is in the clockwise direction. So friends this is how we can find the deflection and slope for the flexural members using virtual work principles. We will solve some more examples in the next videos. Till then thank you. Bye.